Hello and welcome back to Toronto FC in MLS. This is Red Redemption. I am John and we are just about to play Philadelphia Union top of the table clash today. Uh, we've got back to back games Philly versus uh, versus Philly and versus Atlanta. So it's going to be a tough week, but um, we've been doing OK in the meantime, since the Columbus game, we won three nil three clean sheets in a row after not keeping any clean sheets for the entire season before. So that was a great little run, beating Chicago, beating Colorado, but then running into New England away, 1-0 loss. You can't win them all, I guess. But So we've got a couple of injuries and a suspension. Chris Mavinga suspended and uh, just from yellow cards. And Ben is out with pulled, pulled knee ligaments right now, just a couple weeks. Drew Moore's got blisters, so that sucks. But I don't know if he'll play today as a backup. And Marky Delgado's got pulled ankle ligaments, just injured in training as well. Uh, so looking at the tactics and the team right now, uh, this is our current lineup. We got Simon playing. We're switching back to our uh, four-two-three-one. We played a couple games with the back three, and that worked out pretty well until we played New England. Uh, so I'm going to switch back for this game against Philly. We're at home. Uh, we want to challenge these guys, but they're going to be a tough team to play against. Uh, the Philly and Atlanta look a little bit better than us in the standings at the moment. Um, goal difference, you can see the difference here. Atlanta is by far the top scoring team in the league. Uh, we're close behind, a little bit ahead of Philadelphia, but they're better defensively than us. And we have Mavinga out. So in replacement for him, we are... Whoop, my computer is there we go Zavalet is in so Moore's sitting on the bench right now don't know if his blisters will hold him back he's coming back in one day but we're just about to play so I will jump forward against Philadelphia um, not sure if we should leave Drew Moore on the bench really for this we've got not much cover actually just Lorea so maybe we'll bring Lorea in for him and we'll go forward with this team here so we're Altador up top Pozuelo behind him uh, replacing Benaze we had Pozuelo back here but we'll put him up uh, further forward uh, in place of Benaze today bringing in Jay Chapman in the midfield with Michael Bradley Gallardo on the wing Azorio on the opposite side Justin Morrow scored a nice goal in the last game, or in the last couple games, I think. Um, and we've got Simon, Gonzalez, and Zavaleta with Alex Bono in net. So, going forward, yeah, those guys aren't super sharp, but it's okay. Let's just pull my dog out here. He's scratching something right now. Hey, what's going on? Okay. Okay, so we're watching out for Perz. How do you say that name? Casper Perzibilko. 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 Top goal scorer for Philadelphia. Marco Fabian. Fabian. Fabian is uh, probably one of their best players, and they've got Alejandro Bedoya as their captain. And uh, pretty good team overall. Uh, Blake also in nets, a good goalkeeper. Um, all right, so we'll go into our dressing room here. We're going to tell these guys to do it for the fans. And we'll go into the tunnel interview. So how are you approaching the task of reaching the MLS, MLS's best defense? Yes, they do have the best defense. We're going to have to try and find their weaknesses. Uh, Sergio Santos is one of the best dribblers in MLS. Do you have a plan to stop him? We're going to have to pay attention to him. As you prepare to face Philadelphia, are you happy with Justin Moore's performances at wingback? Yes, he's playing very well at the moment. So, here we go. Perzabilko, back to a falter. Elliot, Bedoya, ahead for Philadelphia. These guys are going to stream down on us. we got to keep them to the outside, I think. Good finishers as well. Not so great long range, so we'll try and keep them on the outside of the box. Not sure if that's going to work or not with our defense, but... We'll try. I got Bradley tracking back as well. So uh, Fabian with the through ball. Simon with the clearance. Azorio is going to break away. 
Up to Pozuelo. Pozuelo dribbles through. Can he get it to Altador? Through to Altador. Can he finish? And a save from Blake, and it's over. So corner kick to TFC. Good crowd today for this game. Top of the table clash. We're in third. Philly's in first in the east. Here we go. Zavaleta collects. Back to Bono. Can he do something here? Gonzalez to Zavaleta. Back to Bono again. Playing it out of defense. Zavaleta picks it up. Are we actually going to go forward here? Up to Bradley. Out wide to Simon. To Gallardo. Can he make something happen? Gallardo's cutting inside. Through ball to Altador. He's onside with the shot and a save from Blake. Nothing comes of it, really. Not a bad start for us so far. We're on the front foot, getting some love. Good possession numbers. Maybe play some short passing. That's probably a good idea. I thought I had that set already. but All right, here we go. Back to Bono. Through to Jay Chapman. Zavaleta gives it away to Gaddis. And uh, Philly knocks it down for Zabil's co. Can he finish? Good save from Bono. Can Gallardo get a three? No, he can't. Santos, Fabian, across, and Moro's going to intercept. Okay. Not too bad so far to start. They've got an, a couple of injuries, and Gallardo's gone down for us now. So those uh, they're hurting, and we're hurting. And Gallardo, I hope he doesn't have a broken foot. So we're going to bring on Schaffelberg for Gallardo, and we'll switch Azorio and Schaffelberg around. Uh, Schaffelberg wants to be a winger. Make him a winger. Maybe Moro can be an inverted wing back. Cut inside while Schaffelberg stays to the outside here. Uh, I don't know if we need more attacking rules. Maybe Moro can be more attacking. Although it might hurt us against Philly. So we'll, we'll leave it at that. And we'll keep going here. So Schaffelberg is on. These guys are hurting too. Mandunian. Ben Medunyanin. Oh, these names are crazy today. All right, Fabian picks it up. Through ball to Santos. Santos has an injury. Can he put it through? Oh, knocked it down by TFC, but he give it away and a good save by Bono again. Yeah, we have to be careful with the mistakes at the back, I think. One mistake could cost us in this game. And it's over from Medunian. Medunian. Medunianin. Medunianin. <laughs> don't know. Madunyanin. Hottest Madunyanin. Okay. Marco Fabian. Free kick. Into the box. Can he finish? And he can for his Bilko. That's what I was afraid of. These guys can finish. Taking their chances. Ball in. Free header. And it's in. 1 0 for Philadelphia. What can we do going forward? We've got some anxiety coming into the team. Just before halftime is a blow for us. We've been playing okay, but it's pretty even. Um, pretty even overall. So we need to fire this team up a bit. Show me something else. Do we have any terrible performances going on? Just Jay Chapman's not getting much love in the midfield, but we don't really have a replacement for him. Um Okay, I'll leave it at that for now. We might have to go a bit more attacking later in the game. Gonzalez now out wide to Osorio. He in his favorite position on the, on the right side here. Altador with a header and it's over. That's what we uh, we just need to keep putting boxes or uh, putting balls in the box. So I got my coffee here. Oh, Bradley's been sent off now. And that is terrible for us. So Puzzle is going to have to drop back. And we'll switch these two around. Definitely needs somebody. I might... Uh, we don't have Liam Frazier. I sent Liam Frazier down to TFC 2 because he wasn't getting any game time. But uh, can we put Larea in a defensive role? He wants to be more of an attacker. Yeah. He still might be better than Chapman in that position, but we'll go with this for now. Okay, we're going to have to play cautious. 
I'll clear that. Okay, off the off the bar. Thank you. We've got to close these guys down. I think I forgot to set these damn instructions again. Jeez. Every game. No fair. Out wide to Gaddis. He picks it up, crosses in, and it's another goal for Perzabilko. Like, we cannot stop this guy. So the top of the table clash is not going well for us today. It looks like Philadelphia is the team to beat this season. Unfortunate, but we go on. Yes. We have a corner here. Pozuelo puts it in the box. Schaffelberg, can he put it in? No. Good chance there. My dog is tangled up in the microphone cable. Okay. Ooh, Osorio. Another good chance. We just got to put one of those away. We've got a damaged heel. The, the, these guys are just dropping like flies at the moment. Chapman is injured. We're going to bring on uh, Lorea into this position. That's two subs for us. Playing these guys with low match fitness. He's controlling the game. Needs to be closed down. Man, I should have looked at these opposition instructions before the game. I shoot myself in the foot every time. Yes, I know. Bradley sending off his left to send the lurch. Doesn't look like much is going to happen here. So, 86 minutes gone. Throw in from Philadelphia. Megalina blocked by Gonzalez. Takes it in the corner and clears. Well, I mean, we didn't get trounced, but just two clinical finishes, a red card, and that does us in. And their strikers got injured as well. Look like everyone's been injured in this game. They've had three injuries, and we've had two, is it? Altador, can you get it? Nope. Aronson picks it up. Back to Fulter. Larea with the interception. Osorio, Sima, and Larea. All the way down, and it's given away again. A Fulter picks it up back to Blake with the clearance, and that's full time. 2 0 Philadelphia. Not a great game. Two goals from Casper uh, Perzbilko. Perzbilko, I don't know how to say his name. So we go to the dressing room, and it's a sad time. Everyone's upset, but it's the way the cookie crumbles today. So they get the better of us. It looks like. We're getting criticized for tackling here, but I'm not a dirty coach. What are you talking about? You injured my players, too. Gallardo and Chapman. Gallardo's out for four weeks with sprained ankle ligaments. Chapman's out for a week or two, maybe. Damaged heel. He's going to the physio. Uh, we'll go to the press conference here. So, bad day at the office? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, we didn't get the luck today. Uh, how does such a disappointing result impact our plans from going forward? Nothing much, really, just one bad result. Uh, your task was made even harder today by Bradley's red card. Do you feel let down by his dismissal? I was unlucky. I'm not going to single him out. How uh, damaging was it to you for your side to be scored upon at halftime? Yeah, it was tough. Uh, we, we almost hung on, but no. Technology played a significant part in the failure to win. How important do you feel these advancements? Yeah, it's always been good. I love the technology. Love it. Love bar. Not. Um, Ryan Telfer has been playing very well whilst on loan at York 9, uh, which must seem a stark contrast to your own struggles. Uh, we're not doing that bad. Come on. Do you wish you had his services? Not really. Um, he's better off where he is. Yeah, Bradley's suspended. He'll be disciplined for our code of conduct, which is a fine. Uh, Gallardo, he will be put on the disabled list. So, going forward now, look at the tactics. Look at this. Midfield has to change again. So, I think we're going to go Schaffelberg. Azorio switches over. Schaffelberg, winger on support. 
And then we'll get more as an attacking wing back, inverted, maybe support, inverted wing back. Oh, the midfield is just decimated right now. Delgado's out. Uh, Benize is out as well. Like, what can we do here? We've got to bring in Tsubasa Endo. And we need to play Lorea, I think, in there. That is a just awful midfield. <laughs> Not so good at all. Uh, Chris Mavinga is back, so he will come in for Zavaleta. Zavaleta will come in for Bradley. Uh, Dorsey is going to have to come in for one of these guys, and we're still short a player. Like, we don't have anyone else. So I'm going to have to look in the development center. I don't know if I can call anyone from PFC2. We have Ralph Prizo, 16-year-old. Don't know if we can move him to the squad. Nope. Who can we bring in? Can we go to the academy to bring in guys? 16-year-old Wuju. Wuju. I don't know how this works in the academy because these guys are on amateur deals. Very interesting, but I mean, we could sign them or we could just not play, you know, not play with. I think we got Le Liam Frazier we could bring back. Can we bring back Liam Frazier? Uh, we moved him. Cannot be moved. Restricted to four off budget players in the squad that aren't on reserve contract. We don't have homegrown status. He's Canadian. How is he not homegrown? He used to be on the team. I put him in TFC2 and now I can't bring him back. It's ridiculous. Medi Asusi? Maybe. What can we do with this? Can anyone come in? Like, what is the... Can I actually... Is there a column I can use to see who can come in to the team? Is available to be called up? Contract. General. Contract type. That doesn't really help. Everyone's on a full contract. It's funny how these guys are on loan for PC2, which is in... Uh, the USL Pro. I don't know. Can we move him? Uh, all right, let's look at the registration. 5.5. We're gonna we're right at the salary cap. That's the problem. We need somebody to come back. We need Gal Delgado back. He's back in four days. And Lanigan's in seven days, so maybe that'll work. Hopefully Delgado gets back and we can play him. So, we march on. Okay, we're into our scouting meeting now. Uh, let's just, uh, I'll go through this, and uh, I'll hit you back when something interesting happens. All right, we're just leading up to the Atlanta game here. We got Marky Delgado back, but uh, going into the match, Atlanta is still the favorites over us. Um, Altador is also set to become our league leading scorer. He's close. He's got uh, 58 goals. Uh, the record is 68, so he's 10 goals away. I think he can get there this season. I mean, how many goals does he have already? But uh, where are you, Mr. Altador? He's got 13 goals. That's pretty good. 13 in 16 games. I think he can get 25 goals at least this season, unless he gets injured, but we'll see. So well let's go into the press conference. It's fair to say Toronto FC didn't have the best of times against Philadelphia. You're looking for your reaction from your players in the game? Absolutely. We want to win. How do you think Alejandro Pozuelo will react to the current media attention of his performances? Um, well, he's, he's, he'll be fine. How much of a difference does Gonzalo Martinez make to Atlanta? I don't know. Um, we Will we see Benazay stay on a permanent basis? I'd love for him to stay, 
but I don't know if he will or not. Yes. Um, how important will Pozuelo be for your approach against Atlanta United when you consider his standout qualities? He's he's our best player. Um, Omar Gonzalez appears to not just be a great fit in terms of the team style, but also for squaring off against Atlanta United. I agree. Yes, he will be key for us, our best defender. Okay, so D dot is responding to my transfer talk for Benaze, and he does not want to comment. So I'd like to sign Benaze in the off season. He's on loan the whole season from uh, Gengomp in France. I wonder if we can get him in. He's not on a DP contract or anything; it's just a loan. So we, I think we have an extra DP spot right now. So they want us to switch to a cautious tactic, play down the middle. I think that is a good call. We might need to adjust some of these. Uh, we got two attacking. We need more defensive. Inverted wing backs. I think that's okay. Um, right. So we'll go over our tactical briefing and we'll head forward. I don't know if we take temperature of the fans at the moment so yeah they're defending Altador um, yeah they're excited still excited not a lot of criticism in the social feed too much that I see a lot of talk about other teams I've got a few leagues turned on like most of the North American South American big leagues are turned on and the major leagues in Europe that's about it so we'll see uh, Stuff from all over the place in the social feed. Um, yeah, Delgado's back here as well. Uh, I'm excited to have him back in the team. We need midfield help for sure. So, yeah, we've got Endo playing up here now. Pozuelo drops back. That'll be a little bit more balanced. Uh, heading into the game, Red Bulls are playing Minnesota today as well. Fourth versus fourth. East and West. I think Minnesota, oh no, they're third. Fourth versus third. Oh, they just won. So, yeah. Okay. So, saving game. All right. We are set to go against Atlanta United. We're in Atlanta. Uh, their form is absolutely excellent, excellent at the moment. Five wins in a row, at least right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven games in a row. Can we snap this winning streak? We shall see. Gallardo is out, Bradley is out, Benazay is out. They have Barco, um, Villalba, and Hinman out for them as well. Going forward into our team selection, this is what we're going with. Altidore up top, Osorio on the right, Schaffelberg on the left, Endo in the middle between them, Pozuelo and Delgado in the midfield, Simon at right back, Gonzalez and Mavinga in the center of defense, Moro on the left, and Bono at goalkeeper. So... We will submit that lineup, and they're warming up. They're warming up. Ooh, what's that? Oh, weird. I went to the boardroom for some reason, but then we're in the back. Okay. I'm going to encourage the team. Uh, do 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 do. Let's go. Make it count. Come on, tunnel interview. How are you approaching the task of keeping MLS's leading goal scorers quiet? We're going to have to play really solid at the back. Um, the boys are confident. No, I'm going to say goal fest. Yeah, I trust my players. Okay. Franco Escobar is reign supreme at the back for Atlanta recently, and how do you throw him off his game? We're going to have to unsettle him. Um, are you hopeful that Lawrence Simon carries his recent good form into the match? Absolutely. Is Tubasa Endo fit enough to play for the duration of the match? I am not sure. He's not in perfect condition, but we will see. Here we go from Atlanta, their giant Mercedes-Benz Stadium. It's where the Atlanta Falcons play. But I think Atlanta United, they close off the upper bowl for the football games or the soccer games. The the real football games. Okay, we're getting started here. So they've got Pogba's brother. 
Floron or what's it, whatever his name is, Florentine. Here we go. Corner kick for Atlanta. I don't know who that is. Martinez. And it's a goal right away. Six minutes in. Robinson. I don't know if we need to switch our corner tactics for defending corners. Maybe that's a hole. We'll have to revisit that one. But we're not. What is he doing here? Just didn't even jump. Gonzalez. Did nothing. I thought you were good in the air. Jeez, and I forget again to set my damn opposition instructions. That's going to be a running theme, I think, for this series. Here we go. Bono, Mavinga, all the way down the field. Delgado, Endo. Delgado to Osorio. Endo picks it up. Can he make something happen? I'd like to see Endo do something, like when he gives it away to Escobar. Martinez is free as well. This is dangerous. Is he going to finish? Good save from Bono. It's going wide anyways, but make sure. And Martinez. Is he taking the corner? No, it's a different Martinez on the corner. Schaffelberg heads away. Parkhurst. Back to Martinez. Good sliding tackle from Osorio. Okay. We've got to match these guys. We're on a little bit of poor form right now. Two wins or two losses. On the bounce, Remedi to Nagby, Remedi to Nagby again. We got to try and get the ball off of these guys. Florentine Pogba, Pogba on the left, crosses in, Martinez heads over. Got to keep him to the outside. I'm looking nervous. I'm going to demand more from these guys, get them a bit more focused. Pozuelo picks it up in the middle. Delgado. Through to Endo. Through to Azorio. Can he finish? Shoot. And it's there. Altador. No. He can't get a foot on it. Remedy picks it up. And they counter. Oh, dear. Okay. Martinez needs to be closed down. That's Gonzalo Martinez. I think he's the right back. Remedy picks it up outside the box. Blocked. Gonzalo Martinez. Ooh, blocked again from Gonzalez. Remedy blocked. Okay. That's a corner kick for Atlanta. Again, see if we can defend this one. In the box, Pogba, and it's headed over. Still not really getting ahead on the ball. Simon with the throw. And no. Back to Simon. Pozuelo. Back again. Switches it to Schaffelberg. Can he make something happen? Schaffelberg out wide. Cross in. Azorio off the bar and cleared. We've got another throw here. Morrow's going to pick it up. I don't know if we can get a goal before halftime. Robinson, Parkhurst playing it out of the back. Guzan to Gonzalez Pires. Guzan, Parkhurst. Forward to Barco, to Nagby, Martinez, Nagby, out wide, Escobar, dribbling in, down the wing, can he put a cross in, it's back to Barco, Nagby, Martinez, is he offside? He's got to be offside, he's not offside, 2-0, another one, right before halftime, these two games were going to be tough, but I'm not happy. How is that not offside? It was very close. Disappointing. 13 to 3 in shots. Maybe we're just standing off them too much. All right. Telling the team be better. Anyone really sucking? Altador. Mavinga, Moro, yeah, they're all just out of it. What can we do? Okay, we're going to go attacking. We're going to go... I don't know about Schaffelberg. We don't really have an option on the left. Is there anyone else that we can bring in? Oro. Who can add some attacking flair? Like, we have, we're very thin on the bench today. We'll 
Open support, ball winning midfielder for Delgado. Support fullback for Simon. And support for Morrow. Uh, maybe Endo can go on attack. And that'll do it. So we'll start off. We'll see if we can be a bit more on the front foot here. And Schaffelberg loses it immediately to Escobar. Streaming down the wing. He's going to cut back to Nagby. Nagby is probably going to come across. Barco is free in the middle. Escobar out wide. Blocked his cross. Good for Morrow. Schaffelberg picks it up. And that's it. Martinez needs to be marked. That's a block from Morrow again. Can we counter here? Morrow to Pozuelo to Schaffelberg. Holds it up. Back to Pozuelo. Endo picks it up. Can he switch it to his Oreo? He's got it. Cut it back to Altador. Do something. Oh, close from his Oreo. Very close. All right, so let's look at the opposition instructions. We've got marking on Joseph Martinez. He needs to be specifically marked. I think Mavinga. Uh, player instructions. Joseph. Let's go with that. Okay. Throw from Atlanta. Escobar. Martinez. Escobar with space. Crosses in. And it's... Oh, I thought they were going to score again there. Pogba. But uh, Bono with safe hands. Like, there was so much space there. Like, what was Simon doing? Why was Pogba open? Simon through to his Oreo. Can you get it forward to Altor? Do something, Josie. There it is. 2-1. Get that ball and run back. We're going to make a game of this. Nice little ball through from Azorio. Put him right in the right spot. And good finish from Altador. That's what we need. Thank God we have a clinical striker. He was onside. 2-1. Can we make a go? Can we equalize? We have to Martinez is closed down. I'm pretty sure he's closed down. What are you telling like, I don't understand the instructions when, like, oh, close, close this guy down. You have him marked as closed, in, closed down when it's in the team instructions. Like, do you have to do something else? I don't understand. Azorio out wide. Ball in. Ooh, headed down and remedy clears. But Simon intercepts. Pozuelo, Simon. Pozuelo out wide again. Simon, can he cut in? Ball blocked. And it's a throw. Guys are a little nervous. I'm going to keep keep yelling at them here. Ball in. Nearly cleared. Endo. Can he go out wide again? Moro. Can he put the ball in? Gonzalez. Needs to give it to somebody who can dribble. And he gives it away. He's got to get back right now. It's hitting us on the counter. Gerardo, Gonzalo Martinez. Sorry. Can he finish? Good save from Bono. That was dangerous. Bad giveaway from Omar Gonzalez there. But 61 minutes gone. Here we go. Schaffelberg. Can he make something happen? I mean, he's not he's not a flair player, Schaffelberg. I'm not sure if he can really do a job for us. But he's just cover for Gallardo. I might need to replace him and get a better winger as a backup. But Osorio picks it up. Can he finish? Good save from Guzan. We're getting some love now. Some chances are going in. Moro with the corner. Osorio. Pozuelo. Back in. Endo. Just tipped over. Another corner for TFC now. That was very close. Okay. Justin Moro. Ball in. Headed away. Gonzalez picks it up. Need to give it to somebody else. Pozuelo. All the way back. 
to Bono and he boots it out because he has nobody to pass to. So, Gonzalo Martinez. Ball in to Joseph Martinez. Back to Gonzalo. Ball in again. Blocked. Delgado clears. Here we go. Counter. Endo. Can he do something? Through to Altador. Altador's by himself. Can he finish? And he does. It's 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. We've clawed it back now. So this is great. Momentum is in our is on our side now. Can we actually win the game? There's plenty of time. 63 minutes. I'm not going to change anything. I'll just stick to this. Escobar out wide. Into the middle. Martinez is through. Could, is he going to finish? And he doesn't. Bono saves. A weak attempt on goal there. Throw in for Atlanta. Pogba. Barco Pogba. Through to Remedy. Robinson at the back. Parkhurst. Robinson out to Nagby. He's going to dribble forward. Here comes Martinez. He's, is he going to go out wide? Yes, he does. Escobar. Cuts into the middle. T somebody challenge him. Oh. Standing off of him. With Barco with the finish. Like what? Why? What was the reason why? I think it was Mavinga. He just lets him walk in. Nobody challenging him. And this guy too. By himself. Who is that? Ah, got to click. Tomorrow. Uh, I guess maybe it's that inverted wing back role. Let's switch that up. We're going to go support wing back. I don't know if I should change something now. 67 minutes. We're almost at the end here. Endo is uh, lacks the most. He's having a good game, Subasa Endo, but... I don't know if I need to make a substitution. Mavinga is not playing so well. Could bring on Drew Moore for Mavinga or Zavaleta. Hmm. Maybe. I'll bring on Drew Moore. Okay, let's play. What can we do? What can we do? Can we equalize again? We're going to have to do something. Header away from Gonzalez. Remedy picks it up. Pogba. What can he do? Blocked. Remedy. Still has it. Gonzalez Perez. Through ball to Escobar with space. Martinez tackled and cleared by Moro. But Altador is up there by himself and it's f and he's fouled. No card for Robinson on that one. Looked like a foul to me. Looked like a yellow. We're going to ease off Omar Gonzalez, Delgado, Gonzalez, Delgado again. Can he create anything here? He's holding it up. He's isolated. He's got no options. Like, what are you doing? Gonzalo Martinez bearing down on goal. Is he going to finish? And a save from Bono. It's amazing how these guys are not supporting each other there. Like, Gonzalez needs support. And Simon's just standing like 50 yards away. Gonzalo Martinez out wide. Crosses in. Can we clear it? Martinez picks it up. Pogba. And it's saved and tipped over. Exciting game. But it's too much stress for me right now. Gonzalo Martinez. Ball in. Robinson. Oh, and it's tipped and saved. Cleared. Headed by Altidore. But uh, the defense will pick this up. Remedy back in. Out wide, Pogba. Into the middle to Barco. They're controlling the game now again, Atlanta. But, ooh, and it's wide again. Tricky game, tricky game. Pogba with the throw. Up forward to Remedy. And back to Gonzalez Perez. And they're playing it out the back again. And they're going to switch it out wide. But Moro intercepts. Can we make something happen now? Pozuelo, Moro, Schaffelberg. He's got lots of space. Put it in. Do something with it here. Ooh. And they're countering. Can Gonzalez stand his ground? 
Martinez is in. Good tackle from Morrow. Good tackle from Delgado. But he's through again, and it's a good save from Bono. Oh, my goodness. Okay, corner kick, Atlanta. Gonzalo Martinez. Ball in. Pires puts it away. 4-2 Atlanta. And it looks like they're going to cruise now. It's, it's tough. It's a tough game. I don't know. I want to make changes here. Uh, I'm not sure what to do, really. But pause this. Zorio. They weren't playing poorly. Justin Morrow. I'll bring in Oro for Morrow. So that's two. And I'll do my last sub as well. Just to get some of these guys. I mean, Altidore's on a hat trick. That's the thing. Like, I want to get Patrick Mullins in the games, but then, like, Altidore has a hat trick. <laughs> He's on a hat trick. Griffin Dorsey, maybe, for his Oreo. Let's do that. And we'll play. Okay. It doesn't look like we're going to get anything out of this game. It w we did well to fight back, but just couldn't, c couldn't stop the uh, clinical finishing. I think these guys are top scorers in the league at the moment. Atlanta. I think we said that earlier in the video, but 35 goals going into this game, I think, or maybe into the last game. I'm not sure if they scored more. They probably did. Nagby now. Barco. Remedy. Martinez. Remedy. Out wide to Escobar. And Martinez. Yeah, easy save for Bono there. It's a good play from Atlanta. Tough. We're just a little bit off the pace of the top two, I think. And my budget is not kind. I can't really improve the team with the transfer window shot anyways, but good save from Bono there. All right. Corner kick Atlanta. Ball in. Header away. Parkhurst. Ambrose blocked and cleared. Altador picks it up, and it's given away. Four minutes to go. Disappointing, but it was an okay performance. Just defensively, we can't stop these guys. Too many giveaways, too. Another one there from Simon. Cuts in. Martinez headed away. Schappelberg transitions to Endo, who has done very little in this game. Gonzalez to Dorsey. Dorsey finally gets on the ball, gives it away immediately. And more clears. Nagby. Ambrose. Into the middle to Barco, cleared by Gonzalez. Into space, and Parkhurst is going to pick that up. And he's going to give it away to Schaffelberg. Inside to Endo. Can we get it to Altador for a finish here? Good tackle, and that's the end of the game. 4-2 Atlanta over Toronto, and we lose another one. That's three in a row. We're not so good at the moment. After a good run of form, we lost three. So three wins in a row, then three losses in a row. So we're about even. Let's attend the press conference. Are you now hoping to for a favor that sees New York Red Bulls drop points? Yeah, we need... Yeah, I'm confident my team's going to push on, but... Are you pleased the way he played? Yeah, he did a good solid game. But uh, LA Galaxy have been a surprise story in the MLS so far for the wrong reasons. Previously lofty ambitions have given away for a considerable turmoil. What do you made of them? I don't want to talk about Galaxy at all. I've had enough. I've had enough. Okay, so looking at the schedule, three losses in a row. We got to turn this around. So we've got San Jose, LA, Chicago, LA. Uh, over the next few games, then we got New England, Philly, Atlanta, New York. Maybe we will come back for the Galaxy game. Our last little West Coast game here on the road. See if we can get some points in this group. And then we're into July. Just to give you guys a bit of a different team to look at. Rather than wa watching Philly or Atlanta or Red Bulls. or We could do New England as well because I want revenge against these guys for that last one. No, we should have won that game. And we got Canadian Championship coming up after that. So we'll definitely 
come back for LA Galaxy in the next episode. So thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and hit the like button. Uh, my name is John. This is Red Redemption TFC and MLS, and I'll see you next time. Peace.